In this video, we are going to talk about how to become a millionaire step by step. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel Top Finance for the future updates. So you want to be a millionaire, huh? Awesome, but is it realistic in this crazy economy? Don't you need a high-paying job or a winning lottery ticket? Well, we've got good news for you. You can become a millionaire, even when inflation is through the roof and the stock market feels more unstable than that rickety roller coaster at your local state fair. Number 5. Stay away from debt. There's this idea floating around our culture that you have to take big risks to become wealthy. People think you have to take out business loans and open up lines of credit to get ahead, and they justify it by calling it leverage which is just a fancy word for borrowing money and getting into debt. But here's the thing, debt is quicksand to your financial dreams. Every time you buy something on credit or take out a loan, you dig a deeper hole for yourself to climb out of. That money, plus interest, you're sending to lenders is money you could be putting toward your future. Folks who went on to become millionaires figured this out a long time ago. They didn't want their most valuable wealth, building tool, their income, tied up in stupid payments every month. Number 4. Invest early and consistently. The earlier you start investing, the more likely you are to become a millionaire. It's that simple thanks to compound interest. So, start investing the minute you're debt-free. It's okay if you've still got a mortgage and have a fully funded emergency fund in place. Maybe you're in your 40s or 50s and you're thinking, well that's great for those young folks, but there's no way I can get there. We want you to hear us loud and clear. No matter how old or young you are, it is never too late or too early to get started. Start where you are. Number 3. Make savings a priority. If you've already started investing, way to go! When it comes to saving for retirement, the goal is to save 15% of your income into tax-advantaged retirement accounts like a 401k and Roth IRA. Not 5%, not 10%, 15%. Why? Because if you want to become a millionaire, how much money you invest is just as important as the actual act of investing. We found that it took Baby Steps millionaires, who invested 15% of their income toward retirement, about 20 years or less to reach millionaire status from the beginning of their journey. Here's how things would shake out. The median household income in America is around $68,000. So let's say you invested 15% of that income toward retirement that works out to $10,200 a year or around $850 a month. Number 2. Increase your income to reach your goal faster. You don't need a huge salary to become a millionaire. After all, one-third of all millionaires never made a six-figure salary in a single working year. But if you want to reach millionaire status a little bit faster, then the best way to do that is to boost your income. The more money you make, the more you can invest. How do you do that? You can ask for a raise or find a new job that pays more. You can start that side hustle you've always dreamed about or sell some stuff that's been collecting dust in your basement. You can go back to school without taking on student loans. Or get training to increase your skills and earning potential. One of the defining characteristics of millionaires is that they take personal responsibility for their lives. In other words, they own it. Virtually all millionaires, 97%, believe they control their own destiny. They don't just sit around and hope things will magically change, they go out and do something about it. So, what are you waiting for? If you know you need to raise your income, go out there and do something about it. Number 1. Cut unnecessary expenses. As you work toward becoming a millionaire, make sure you're spending your money on purpose and with a purpose. More than 9 out of 10 millionaires say they live on less than they make and stick to the budgets they create each month. And get this, we found that 93% of millionaires still use coupons. So, despite what you might have seen on some television show or heard on cable news, the average millionaire lives a modest life. They don't waste their money on junk and things they can't afford. Instead, they find ways to cut spending so they can save more for the future. Small sacrifices can lead to big results over time. So, take some time to go over your expenses and compare budgets from previous months. Where are you leaking money? Which budget categories seem to creep up over time? One category could be insurance. 
Can you bundle car and homeowner's insurance? Sit down with an independent agent who can show you where you can save. That's it for this video. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as leaving a like before you go. Thanks for watching.